Hi friends, welcome back to Rafting Magazine's Material Talk. And on this episode, we are going to be talking about polyester. Let's get into it. This whole pile of clothes that I have here is all polyester stuff, even the shirt I'm wearing. I have a blanket lying around too that's uh, polyester somewhere, but I wasn't able to find that one for the video. However, we are going to dive into polyester. Let's talk about what it is, uh, why it, we would want to use it, and uh, absorption, drying speed, heat retention, and environmental concerns. So as always, we're going to start with what it is. So polyester. Polyester is a synthetic plastic fiber, and it's usually derived from petroleum sources. So, uh, polymers like polyester are inherently susceptible to molecular degradation through immersion in water. So, when you drop polyester into water, you're going to have uh, it beginning to degrade in some way. Um, this material is one of the most common plastics in the world. In fact, half of all material used in fiber products in the world is polyester. So that's that's a huge amount of polyester that's produced and polyester that goes into products and what we wear. Um, and that goes from clothing to uh, bedding to seating to, to, you know, it's all over the place. Any sort of fiber product even the microphone on my uh, my camera has a housing of polyester uh, so that is is i mean it's everywhere it's everywhere so uh we when we get into the environmental concerns about it we'll talk a little bit more about that but suffice it to say this is used from everything in this pile of clothes to this very microphone right here so Let's talk about absorption, drying properties, and just discuss a little bit more about what polyester does and why we would want to use it. Polyester is highly breathable. It's got really good moisture wicking properties. If you start to sweat, it's going to pull the moisture away. Polyester is inherently hydrophobic because it is a thermoplastic uh, type material. It's going to pull all of that water away and it just doesn't want to absorb it. Not all plastics are um, are hydrophobic, but polyester only absorbs 0.4% of its weight in water. So this shirt, even when it gets wet, it's not going to weigh that much more. Because of how it's made and the chemical properties of it, it tends to cause water to spread out over the surface area. What that means is that moisture will cover more of the garment. It'll cause it to evaporate more because there is more surface area for the water to be evaporating off of. If water is condensed in a small pocket, like it would be in cotton or wool type fabrics, it's going to just sit there and clump up together and it's not going to spread out across the fabric. So that's something that's super good for or, uh, moisture wicking properties. Polyester has decent heat retention properties, especially when it's worked into fleece products. Now, um, when we look at fleece products, I, I have a vest here um, that that Kaylee has owned for a long time. It does have uh, an interesting um, kind of uh, pilly polyester on the inside, and the outside is this fleece material. And I have a jacket as well. And when we get into fleece, we'll talk about this more, but this jacket has a polyester shell on it and all of the synthetic fill inside of this uh, is polyester. And I think it's probably a fleece material. I haven't ripped open my jacket to see, but I would imagine that they would put a fleece material because of the properties of fleece and how it works. So uh, fleece has a much higher retention of heat compared to this top that I'm wearing. And when we talk about fleece, uh, you can check out that episode and I'll talk more about why fleece works like that and, and how it works. But for now, so it's just we're focusing on the polyester, the flat kind of polyester garments that I'm wearing. Um, so let's talk about uh, environmental concerns. Now, it can be recycled. 
the difficulty with it is a lot of people aren't set up to recycle this. And uh, I just saw an article that said, you know, in the US only 5% of all plastics are being recycled. If we look at half of the fibers that are produced, I mean, that's a very low amount of fiber that's being recycled. There are companies out there that are doing cool stuff. Immersion Research, they make some really cool stuff. I have this polyester top. Uh, I believe this is their rival top. But Immersion Research makes this stuff out of recycled water bottles, which is super cool. I mean, if you're if you're worried about the environmental concerns of uh, mining a bunch of petroleum and then turning it into um, polyester through factories and stuff like that, these guys are actually, to their credit, they're doing a really good job of keeping those environmental concerns down and trying to recycle where they can. In fact, uh, every suit that you get from them has a... Uh, comes in a recycled bag made out of billboard material, which is kind of cool. So uh, from an environmental side, uh, polyester is not a super environmentally friendly sort of fabric. Um, it does put off a lot of chemicals in the manufacturing process. And, um, you know, there is a lot of shipping and a lot of uh, just a lot of nasty stuff. So the thing we want to also look at is because molecular degradation occurs through immersion in uh, water, what tends to happen is the more you wash these things, the more they start to degrade. As they degrade more, it's kicking off more uh, plastic molecules and that is driving microplastics into the water. So, uh, you know, polyester, it's, it's gonna be a concern if you're dropping microplastics in the water. Uh, Again, a lot of big environmental concerns. So if you're concerned about that, uh, something to think of if you're going to choose to buy a polyester top um, or a polyester, uh, you know, whatever it might be. So let's talk about garments and use. Um, this stuff is really cheap and it's super readily available. Um, polyester is all over the place and it comes in different uh, forms. So this top I'm wearing, um, it's a really kind of low grade polyester top. It's, it's actually kind of itchy. I don't really like it that much. Um, it pills a lot and, and has lots of little pulls in it and it's starting to actually unthread itself. So, uh, when you are looking at polyester garments, again, taking higher grade polyester garments and, uh, stuff that's going to last longer is going to have a lower environmental footprint. Um, Got this top uh, from La Sportiva. It, this this one is a much better top than the one I'm wearing. Um, I got this one for free, uh, and uh, I've had it for a lot of years, and, and I try and use it as much as possible because I, I just want to make sure that I'm getting as much life out of it as, as I can. But um, this top from La Sportiva, this one I believe is made from from pretty much all recycled material. Uh, yeah, it's this is a completely recycled fabric. Just trying to get plastics that are already, that have been produced to recycle them, use them again. And they're, they're actually making some really high grade polyester stuff with it. Really nice stitching on this. So th this is the kind of stuff you wanna look for if you're buying polyester, uh, it is this really high grade polyester instead of this low grade stuff. That La Sportiva top, it feels so much better. Um, it just feels really soft and supple. Uh, so. I would say try and look for those high grade polyester things instead of these low grade uh, items. And then if you are purchasing uh, some sort of top, because it's hydrophobic, what's gonna happen is when the water hits this, it's just gonna beat off. Um, it's gonna hit it, it's gonna spread out, but largely it's gonna beat off. Again, it's not absorbing water like say a nylon top or a nylon uh, outer layer. Um, Immersion Research does make the Devil's Club type stuff, and that is all nylon, as well as Kokatat is mostly nylon, and a lot of the NRS stuff and, and anything really low grade, you're gonna find a lot of nylon stuff. So just know what you're getting because it's going to affect how warm you feel. So in this garment, I feel pretty warm because the water hits me on the, on the semi-dry top and rolls right off. Uh, Kaylee has switched from nylon to using polyester and she said she's had a remarkable increase in her warmth on the water. So she's getting less cold because it's absorbing less water. You're having less water moving through the garment and because of 
how heat retention works. When you have water moving through it and you have the garment itself absorbing water, you're going to have a lot of convective heat loss. So the water will move in through the fibers and then out again, and it's just going to keep replacing it with cold water as opposed to cold water hitting it and then just sheeting off. So that's gonna be one concern when you're buying polyester products is that the polyester products are going to keep you warmer. However, they do have a lower tensile strength than nylon, and so you are going to find that it's easier to rip these things, it's easier to tear them, um, and easier to pull the fibers out. So uh, that's another concern for you. Longevity may be a little bit less if you uh, have a lot of high use in polyester uh, products. But again, if you have well-made polyester products, you're not gonna have a problem. Um, if you have cheap, low-grade dry suits that you're buying, um, I, I've seen some $200 dry suits and I've also seen people uh, bend over in them and just tear them open. And so if you have a cheap, low-grade, polyester dry suit and you just tear it right open, you're gonna have to get another one and get another one. And so you're not keeping the garment longer and repairing them is a little bit tougher too because they're just such thin material, it's hard to repair. So all concerns with polyester, but that's what polyester is. That's what it does for you. That's how it helps. If you have questions about polyester or uh, you're looking for some polyester products that you want to pick up, uh, I got some great recommendations for you. You can always drop those down in the comments below and we'll see you next time on our material talks.